Okay, good morning. Um, as usual in my talks, I have too many slides, so I will try and go through um, as many as I can. Um, I will talk today about responsible agency. And if this works, as we all know, I don't need to uh, convince you about uh, the importance that AI has and how it is impacting in our lives. I mean, we have a number of areas uh, with a clear social impact, like self-driving cars or medical diagnosis or parole decisions. So AI is more and more taking a part of the collective decisions that we are doing every day. And that has raised some ethical concerns. We had some discussions yesterday uh, during the panel about this issue. And ethics for some is considered the next frontier for artificial intelligence. Um, Cambridge Analytica, we have this clear example of how to turn clicks into votes, I mean, whether this is acceptable as a society or not. The problem of fake news that is really impacting the quality of our media. In countries like Singapore, in which you can go to jail if you generate fake news. So that's a very, very severe uh, regulation they, they have created in Singapore. Um, Danveld uh, said, well, um, but the problem, the ethical concerns, is not exclusive of AI. So the ethical concerns refer to any kind of computer science system that is taking decisions. And uh, for instance, this uh, automated trading system by Net Capital in 2012 made in half an hour lose $460 million to the investors by doing this um, accelerated trading system. And probably AlphaGo has not created any harm to anyone, except for Lee Sedol, who is very depressed these days and abandoned Go playing, I think, after being defeated by, by AlphaGo. But I mean, so as soon as we take, we have systems that take decisions and these decisions are automated, then we have um, to raise uh, ethical concerns to see whether those decisions conform to what we as society want them to be. But it's not just, and that will be the focus of my presentation, it's not just these big words like privacy, security, manipulation. We are also concerned about basic functionalities of our systems uh, or the way our systems are created by engineers. And this is an example. So after many complaints, these app, YouTube Kids, finally let parents fully lock down what their children can watch. So the thing is that the parents were criticizing and were complaining about the, fun the things that kids could see, but Facebook was very, sorry, YouTube was very slow in reacting to those criticisms. In the end, after a long battle, so it's 